Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Perkins family. The first is blazoned or a fest dance set between six or more correctly ten billets ermine, crest a pineapple proper stalked and leaved vert. This belonged to the Perkins family of Ufton Court in Berkshire, England, and we know that Francis Perkins inherited Ufton in 1581 from Lady Marvin, his aunt, by her marriage to Richard Perkins, and they were a prominent Roman Catholic family who lived in Ufton until 1769. And I also have a, I also have this version being born by Matthias Perkins of Teddington in Middlesex, who was a surgeon from Twickenham. And he purchased the Teddington Manor in 1736. And here we see the Ufton estate. Next, similar coat of arms, but argent instead of ore, no crest, said to be uh, associated with County Lincolnshire. I wasn't able to find too much on this. Next, we have sable and eagle displayed proper on a canton and argent, on a canton argent, a fest dance set of the first. And we have a unicorn's head as a crest. This was born by Samuel Steele Perkins, who rebuilt Orton Hall in Leicestershire, England in 1786. He was also born by his son, Shirley Farmer Steele Perkins, a wealthy attorney who lived at Moat House in Sutton Coldfield, Warwickshire. And this is a picture of Moat House. Next is a coat of arms for the Perkins of Bunny or Bonnie in Nottinghamshire, England, who descended from Richard Perkins, born 1541, and his wife Elizabeth Beresford. Another featuring an eagle, kind of the same pattern. This was granted in 1646 to Richard Perkins, Justice of the Peace of County Dungal, Ireland, the son and heir of Thomas Perkins Esquire, who was granted 200 acres of land along with a partner in Ulster in 1610. Next, vert a chevron between three ostrich feathers argent, a border ore. All I was able to find on this one is that it was born by Thomas Perkins and a gentleman, wife, he had a wife named Hannah. He was of the parish of Fish Lake in Yorkshire, England, and it was recorded in the year 1673. Not sure if that was the year he passed away or was born. And he actually bore it with a crest featuring a man holding three ostrich feathers. Next is Argent, a lion passant sable between three fleur de lis gules. Crest, a lion passant sable holding in the paw a fleur de lis gules. I wasn't able to ascertain too much information about this one, but I was able to find that it belonged to one J. Perkins Esquire, who lived in Nuneaton, County Warwickshire, England. Another from Warwick, this is from Marston, 
Gules, two chevrons between three Escalops Argent, crest out of a ducal coronet or a unicorn's head ermine, maned and horned gold. And this family descended from William Perkins of Marston or Marson. And he had son Thomas Perkins, who married Anna Roberts and had sons Valentine Perkins and Ricus or Ricardus Perkins, Richard, I suppose. Next is or a bend dancette between six billets sable. This was from Pillstone, County Monmouthshire. And we know that I, I wasn't able to find out too much information on this. I was able to find that there was one William Perkins of Pillstone in County Monmouth, who was a gentleman. And in 1634, there was a court case he was involved in, in front of the Court of Chivalry, in which he, I guess the incident was, he referred to Henry Somerset as a base fellow, a shittin' beggarly fellow, not worth six pence. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.